I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Sileti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 7.8 from the chapter number 7. The problem is specify the size of a ROM. That is, we have to specify the number of words and the number of bits per word that will accommodate the truth table for the following combinational circuit components. Here we are given with four combinational circuits here so what we have to do we have to specify the rom size that is number of words into number of bits per word so in the first part of this problem we have to find out the rom size for a binary multiplexer that multiplies two four bit binary words this is the circuit of a binary multiplexer here we have two four bit words one is a3 a2 a1 and a0 and the second word is b3 b2 b1 and b0 so we have multiplied this number with a0 first then we have multiplied with a1 then we have multiplied with a2 then we have multiplied with a3 okay and we have used here this full address circuits so here we have carry in and here we have carry out so this is the circuit so in this circuit we can see we have here 1, 2, 3 and 4 number of inputs and we have here 4 inputs B3, B2, B1 and B0. So here we'll have total of 8 number of 8 number of inputs. And if we see the number of outputs, so here we can see the outputs are C7, C6, C5, C4, C3, C2, C1 and C0. That means from 0 up to 7 we have total number of output is 8 number of outputs okay a number of outputs so using a number of input lines we can address how many number of memory addresses so 2 to the power 8 so 2 to the power 8 is 256 so we can address 256 number of words using this 8 number of input lines therefore the ROM size is what will be the ROM size? ROM size is the total number of words into total number of bits per word. Okay, so total number of words into total number of bits per word. Therefore, the ROM size will be 256 into and number of bits per word means this is the total number of outputs. So it is 8. This is the size of this ROM unit. Okay, now let us go to our second problem. We have to now find out the ROM size for a 4-bit adder subtractor circuit. So 4-bit adder subtractor circuit now we have to take. So this is the circuit of a 4-bit adder subtractor. So here we have these two 4-bit numbers. One number is B3, B2, B1 and B0 and another number is a3, A2, A1 and A0. We have to perform the addition or subtraction operation among these two numbers. So one number is A3, A2, A1 and A0. And the second number is B3, B2, B1 and B0. This K is the mode selection. Therefore, if K is equal to 0, what is the operation? It is the addition. When k equal to 0, it is the addition operation. When k equal to 1, it is the subtraction operation. Now, we have to find out the total number of inputs and total number of outputs. With this mode input, we will have total number of 9 inputs. Therefore, therefore, number of words is equal to 2 to the power 9. So 2 to the power 9 is 5, 1, 2. That means it is 512 number of words this ROM can store. This is the number of words. And total number of outputs. Okay, we have to see the number of outputs. Total number of outputs are this is the carry out and these are the sum outputs. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 number of outputs. Therefore, number of outputs is equal to 5. Therefore, the ROM size is equal to 512 words into 5, 5 bit per word, okay. So this is the solution of the second part of the problem. In the third part of the problem, we have to find out the ROM size for a quadruple 2 to 1 line multiplexer with common select and enable inputs, okay. So here we have 
a quadruple two to one line multiplexer and common select and enable inputs. This is the circuit of a quadruple two to one line multiplexer. So here we have these inputs. So here the inputs are a3, a2, a1, and a0. B3, B2, B1, B0. Okay, these are the inputs, and one input is the select input. Select. And one input is the enable input. Enable input. Here we have total four number of bits. Here also four number of bits. Here we have one bit, and here we have one bit. So we have total of ten number of bits. Therefore, total number of inputs is equal to 10 that this 10 here means 4 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1 we have total of 10 number of inputs the number of therefore the number of words this rom can store is equal to 2 to the power 10 okay so this is 1024 and the number of output lines is equal to how many output lines we have one two three and four number of output lines so we have here four number of output lines therefore the rom size is equal to what will be the rom size one zero two four into four now let us go to our fourth part of the problem in the fourth part we have to consider a bcd to seven segment decoder with one enable input now let us see the circuit so this is the circuit of a bcd to seven segment decoder so here we have four number of inputs and we have to add one enable input here here we have to add one enable input so here we have four number of b c d inputs and we have one enable input here we have how many outputs one two three four five six and seven therefore we have seven number of outputs therefore now let us calculate the rom size total number of inputs is equal to 5 we have 4 input and we have one enable input therefore total number of words is equal to how many words we can store here so 2 to the power 5 is equal to 32 and total number of outputs what is what is the total number of output we have seven therefore the rom size is equal to 32 into 7 so this is the rom size required for the design of a bcd to seven segment decoder with enable input thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you